month we not only have a full worm moon, but we have a full worm blood moon. <laughs> That's right, a total lunar eclipse will take place in the early morning hours of March 14th, Pi Day. The last time we saw a total lunar eclipse was in November of 2023. That's right, a full lunar eclipse will be taking place in the early morning hours of November 8th. And as it turns out, it will be the last full lunar eclipse that we'll be able to see until March 14th, 2025. Pi Day, 2025. And we won't see another until March again of next year. So what exactly is a lunar eclipse? Now you're likely familiar with a solar eclipse like the one we saw in April of 2024. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun. Well, a lunar eclipse occurs when the moon actually falls into the Earth's shadow. But the moon appears to move between the sun and the Earth during new moon, and is opposite the Earth and the sun during the full moon. So why don't we have eclipses twice a month then? Well, it's actually a little bit more complicated than that. The plane of the moon's orbit around the Earth is actually tipped at five degrees with respect to the Earth's orbit around the sun. This means that even though we have a full moon, the moon doesn't always line up in the Earth's shadow. But at least twice a year it does. And that's when we experience a lunar eclipse. So then what's the deal with it turning red and calling it a blood moon? The Earth's shadow has two distinct parts. When the moon passes into the Earth's penumbra, this faint shadow darkens the moon slightly. When it passes into the umbra, the moon will briefly completely darken and then turn red. At this point, we have a total lunar eclipse. But why red? As the sun's light passes through the Earth's atmosphere, it scatters. This results in shorter wavelengths like blue light being diverted away from the moon, whereas the longer wavelengths like red light are what bathe the moon. As a matter of fact, if you happen to be standing on the moon during the lunar eclipse, you'd see a red ring emanating around the Earth, which is all that remains of the light escaping Earth's atmosphere of all the sunrises and sunsets taking place on the edge of the Earth. Now, unlike a solar eclipse, it's perfectly safe to look at a lunar eclipse with the unaided eye, binoculars, or even a telescope. Here at the University of Guelph and in most of North America, we'll be able to see the lunar eclipse in its entirety. The moon will enter into the Earth's penumbra at approximately midnight on the evening of March 13th, going into the morning of the 14th. The total eclipse, when it enters into the penumbra and then starts to turn red, will start around 2.30 a.m., reach totality by 3 a.m., and leave the umbra around 3.30 a.m returning to the penumbral phase and eventually returning to a normal full moon around 6 a.m. until it sets at about quarter to eight in the morning. 